How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Tiny QX90, the 90 millimeter wheel-based racing quadcopter. This is the BNF version with the FR Sky receiver. Now, right away, you notice that this has a JST plug in the back. Well, it is a two cell setup and it comes with a 300 milliamp 25c 7.4 volt battery and the motors are the 8520 motors and it comes with these 55 millimeter props red in the front and black ones in the back now the x frame is made out of carbon fiber and it has a second level platform which houses the all-in-one VTX and is held down by a single rubber band there and they do give you extra rubber bands as you can see here we've got a bag of rubber bands as well as a couple of extra set of front props and rear props and the second level platform is held together uh, by these standoff uh, one on this side and one on the other side and there's a screw holding it down from the bottom and a screw holding it down from the top there now the standoff itself is made out of plastic as well as the uh, the screws themselves are made out of plastic and you're wondering why I have two more extra standoffs there well they're not to replace these but it came with four standoffs right on the bottom of the quadcopter one two three four and they were held down by a screw from the top as you can see there there's the holes now i crashed this quadcopter a little hard on the ground uh, it was on a dirt field on the ground uh, it broke off all of the standoffs and all of the screws flew off i was only able to retrieve two standoffs so be careful with that uh, these standoffs are very easy to break thank god nothing happened to the ones on the top i didn't crash upside down i landed uh, right side up so that was really nice so i still have it intact for this um, uh, review now the all-in-one vtx uh, has a camera that has 520 tv lines and it has a 120 degree field of view and it is a quarter inch camera. Uh, it is a 5.8 gigahertz, 32 channel, 25 milliwatt transmitter. And it has the, uh, the six position dip switch there to change your frequency and channels. It comes with the SP Racing F3 Evo brushed flight controller. And it is preloaded with Clean Flight 1.13. And this also has a buzzer as well. And so it has the low voltage alarm function as well. Now, there is the micro USB connecting port right there in the back. So you can connect it to your Clean Flight uh, configurator to your computer. And now it also comes with the uh, FR Sky 8 channel receiver and there is the bind button right on the top there as you can see where my finger is now what you want to do to bind this quadcopter is hold down that bind button and plug in the battery at the same time and go to your remote control uh, the Tyrannus remote control and hit that bind button in the model that you have already set up for this quadcopter in the D8 mode and it should bind right away and the next time you uh, unplug it and plug it back in uh, it will bind to that transmitter right away and the quadcopter without the landing leg standoffs comes in at 40 grams and with the battery comes in at a solid 59 grams <laughs> nice oh wow look at how stable this thing is not bad
Now this one is a little different guys. This one has a 2S battery. So the battery that you see on the bottom is a little bit bigger than the rest and it should weigh a little bit more as well too. But look at how stable this thing is man. That's a little punch out. Not bad. A little prop wash on the way down. Not bad, not bad. I think I heard the, uh, the beeper go off. The battery voltage beeper. Let's do that again and see. There, you heard that? Yeah. It should fly for about four minutes or so, hopefully. Hopefully I get that flight time. But it is nice. I am very impressed by how stable this thing flies. Yeah, I got that V-Bat on. So maybe I'll turn that off. But then again, it's nice to have a little warning. And I believe this VTX does have audio man that's too fast isn't it now it's just constantly beeping yeah now i'm going to have to turn that off because that is a little annoying but then again you do want some kind of a warning now I'm not sure how to set that voltage because this has clean flight and it doesn't have any value inputs on the VBAT. So there you go, there's the alarm. I'm going to put on a new fresh battery and put my goggles on and see how this thing flies. All right, let's go back to the table here and see if I can land it. It does have little standoffs for landing legs. So hopefully I can land it really nicely. There you go.